Welcome to Shudder Sunday episode 1. We're starting off with Joseph Metheny, also known as the Hamburger Killer. In 1996, Joe Metheny joined the ranks of serial killers who decided to serve their victims' bodies to people in food. He claimed to have killed several women, dismembered their bodies and then fed the human meat to his customers at his small barbecue pit stand, turning everyone into unintentional cannibals. Metheny also worked as a truck driver and confessed that his first murder was motivated by the actions of his girlfriend, who abandoned their child because she was a drug addict. He kept killing from that point onward and ended up with around nine victims, or so he claims. In 1994, Metheny was living with his girlfriend and their six-year-old son in South Baltimore. However, he worked as a truck driver, so he was gone for long stints of time on the road. One day, he came home and realised that his girlfriend had abandoned him and taken their child. She was a drug addict and began living on the streets. Metheny said in his confession, I found out about six months later she had moved to the other side of town with some arsehole that had her out selling her ass for drugs. They got busted for drugs and they took my son away from them for child neglect and child abuse. Metheny was so enraged by this that he went out to find his former girlfriend but he couldn't locate her, and instead he ran into two homeless men. In a fit of anger, he killed them both with an axe and proceeded to chop them up into pieces, leaving their bodies where he had found them. At the time of Kimberly Spicer's murder, in the fall of 1995, she had been working as a prostitute in South Baltimore. Metheny was driving a forklift for a company that made wooden pallets and was living in a small trailer located near by his employer. One night, Metheny brought Spicer to his trailer where he brutally killed her, dismembering her body and discarding parts of it under some wooden pallets at his work. Nobody noticed. During his confession, To the authorities, Metheny admitted to committing some very horrific acts, one of which involved Catherine Magaziner's skull. She had been working as a prostitute when he invited her into his trailer. After she stepped inside, he stabbed and strangled her to death before dismembering her body. Apparently, six months later, he went back to the place where he had discarded some of her remains found her skull, cleaned it off, and then had sex with it. The same night that he had killed two homeless men, Metheny also went on to kill two prostitutes, luring them under a bridge and murdering them with the same axe that he had used on the two men. A nearby fisherman who had happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time was then spotted by Metheny and was promptly killed as well. He then tossed all three bodies into a nearby river and placed rocks on top of them so that they wouldn't float to the surface. No evidence of them has ever been found. In 1994, Metheny was arrested and spent a year and a half in the Baltimore County Jail. He had been charged with the murder of the two homeless men that he had chopped up and left under a bridge. He was denied bail and had to sit in prison until his trial. However, due to a lack of evidence, he wound up getting away with the crime and was released from jail. His last victim, Rita Kemper, was lucky. She was working as a prostitute in 1996 when Metheny kidnapped her and forced her into his trailer. He was gearing up to kill her but she managed to get away scaling an eight-foot-tall chain-link fence as she fled. Kemper went straight to the authorities, who thankfully believed her. Metheny was arrested for multiple murders shortly, therefore, and confessed to all 
his evil deeds. Metheny admitted to killing two women, Kimberly Spicer and Catherine Magaziner, before dismembering them and putting their flesh into Tupperware containers that he kept in his trailer. He then decided to open up a small barbecue stand by the side of a busy Maryland road and served his unsuspecting customers human flesh, the flesh from Spicer and Magaziner's bodies. Metheny claimed that there was little difference between pork and human meat. Joe Roy Metheny was born in 1955 and grew up to become one of several killers who sold human meat as food in the early 1990s. Approximately 20 years into serving two life sentences, Metheny was found dead in his cell in August 2018. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed Shudder Sunday episode 1 and I'll see you next Sunday for more shuddering stories.